All right. Um, I think this is day. It's either eight or nine. Uh, I'm losing track. This is a tricky project. Um, let me input something uh, before this video continues, just right here, so you can see this. Hello, everybody. So, uh, this is bad. I ordered those barrels, which was just the uh, the pet G, the one inch pet G. You want to know what they came in? These barrels are this thick. And I've got a box for each barrel the size of a Vulcan box. No wonder it took forever. UPS is... This, this is retarded. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen for shipping. Ready? I'm going to show you exactly what's in each one of these boxes here. Maybe which one's the shark pitch? Show you how absolutely ridiculous this is. Look what's in the box. That. One, two. That's it. This is all that's in each box. And it's that big. These would all fit in one box half the size of one of those. What the hell? Took an extra two weeks to get here because of that. There's no words to express how stupid that is. No words. So that was a little frustrating. But um, I did uh, complete the turret. I got the spacers on. Uh, I got a front post for a Oh, help me out here. Uh, a reinforcement uh, support bar. That's what it is. And I left one of the barrels off, obviously. You'll see why in a minute. Those are three holes that screws go through to meet up with the um, axle that spins the belt. So it goes in. I put screws in those three holes. And then I slide this last barrel in through the spacer up here and down into a little clip that I made for it out of another piece of clear uh, patchy. So now you have six barrels. That one doesn't stay in there too well but I'm going to probably be magnetizing it in there. So I'll just put a magnet on the outside. You'll see. It'll be cool. Um, so that's the turret. This is pretty much all done except I haven't glued the spacer in yet because uh, well, you'll see in a minute. But, um, that's that. So I put it on the Vulcan, and, uh, the... Let me explain some of this. Let me use this one. Um... Alright. Vulcans are annoying. This, uh, bar here moves back and forth, and it moves this gear and this gear is connected to the belt uh, or the belt axle so when this moves back and forth these teeth uh, catch in the groove on this tooth and then rotate this has a slip mechanism which is uh, I don't think that's the proper name for it but um, essentially means that this can turn without you see that this can turn freely on a uh, a different set of teeth that go on the inside of this uh, on these outer teeth so that's bad because what was happening is uh, the turret made it too heavy out here with all the leverage for this to spin it so when the uh, the arm went back to push the teeth the teeth would spin a little bit of the way and then they would keep going but the uh, belt would not advance and the turret would not spin because of that slip mechanism. So I have, uh, there, there's, that's in there for a safety though because if that weren't there and this, there was no slip then you, if you pulled the belt through you'd break the uh, motor or you'd break the connection between these two, and that's the risk. 
But um, in order for this to work, I had to glue those two pieces on, uh, on this other Vulcan. So now you really can't do anything by hand. You can't manually rotate the turret because it'll hurt this um, piece. I'm, s I'm sorry, my terminology is very much absent tonight. But, um, yeah, this you gotta do what you gotta do, so I had to glue that. Um, so I can no longer hand rotate this, and if you do, it's, uh, it's very bad for the axle and could potentially break it, uh, going out to the, uh, that's a word for the client. But, now there's no problems rotating, uh, the turret, uh, automatically, because now it won't slip. So I have that, uh, over here. And I did this in two ways. I filled the back with hot glue, and I connected the front uh, with epoxy putty. I couldn't actually get on the inside of this because the screw was over here, and I have a piece of, gra of brass and then a dowel glue to it. So I couldn't get on the inside, so I had to do it externally. But uh, it's very secure, so I'm just having this dry now. Then I uh, put this in the vise and drilled the other two holes to line up with the uh, turret holes. So that's good. And then this dowel became loose, and this dowel just doesn't want to stay in. Uh, I hot glued it, I super glued it, I gorilla glued it, and now it's uh, got more gorilla glue in there. It's got like three times as much as the last time. And uh, what gorilla glue does, the kind I'm using, uh, it expands. So it's going to fill that piece of brass theoretically, which should have it hold. Um, I, I guess I just didn't use enough last time. I don't know. But um, once that dries, I'm going to pop it back into the, uh, this is the test Vulcan. I'm going to pop it back into the real Vulcan and see how that works. And if it goes smoothly and there's no problems, then all I have to do is create the support bar that feeds into there, uh, that feeds right there. And I have the uh, rod right here to do it with. It's a, I think it's a steel rod which I cut with the metal cutting disc on the Dremel. Uh, nothing new to that piece. That's finished. And yeah. One other problem, though, is... Well, I, I don't really know if it's a problem yet, because half of it was that thing slipping. But um, the barrels don't line up with the... Uh, belt a hundred percent of the time so sometimes there'll be a dart that gets about halfway in the barrel and then um, hit the side and then only go out like 10 feet or some of them actually get stopped in the barrel now I don't know if that's going to be solved once I have this what do you need what do you need what I was waiting Sorry, I got interrupted there for a minute, but, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, uh, when those, when that's glued in and the turret lines up correctly, it works great most of the time, but then, um, well, there was a skipping problem, but I just fixed that, but sometimes there's an alignment problem as well, and that's, like, I did the math, I made the template correctly, but a stock dart, when it's fired, doesn't go straight, it does this like 90% of the time because it's a stock dart and they're not at all accurate. Um, it jams much less with streamlines because they're thinner. They don't have uh, big tips at the end of the darts, but streamlines are the most inaccurate of all the darts, so they, they'll do this more than anything else. Um, I haven't tried it with Stefan's yet, but I'm expecting absolutely no problems with Stefan's. And... Uh, once once that's dry, I'll be able to work on the alignment. I think it's fine, but if I have to, I can cut the barrels here and uh, like cut them all off this tur this uh, template and do another template for it. You know, I really don't want to have to do that, but you know, I want this to be perfect. So if that's what I need to do to do that, I'll redo the template. It's It'll take a few days, and then to calibrate it again, it'll take a while. 
um, you know, to get the, uh, to get it to line up with the whatever correctly. I, I'm really out of it tonight, I'm sorry. But, you know, you need your update every once in a while, so I figured I'd make a video anyway. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh well. Um, so that's an update on the project. Yeah. I'm hoping to put the first cone of paint on it next week. Because then I've got to do a bunch of freehand, which I'm really looking forward to on the barrels. And um, I'm, my girlfriend is actually going to help me uh, cut out a stencil because she's, uh, she's a really good artist. And not she doesn't paint, but she can... This... I can't explain anything. And my arm's getting tired. Um, she's going to help me make a stencil. She's a better artist than I am. And uh, that's going to go on the barrels. I'm codenaming this project. Uh, well, I have a couple names in mind. One of them is Nightmare. And I'd, she offered to help me make a stencil for that, that we could then wrap around this. And once the barrels are painted black, I would spray this, the stencil and then remove it. And it would say Nightmare on the side of these, just on the side of one of the barrels. And I think that'd be really cool. Uh, so I'm wanting the client's input there. But any name he's thinking of, I know he wanted this as a Death Machine um, themed blaster. So I could write Death Machine there. So it's going to be cool. And then I'm going to freehand the uh, pinup girls all the way down. And stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm hoping when I don't run into any more major problems because they're tricky. Vulcans are not the easiest blaster to work with. Uh, I wouldn't say they're quite the hardest, but they're not the easiest. But I have no complaints. I'm having a fun project. This is a lot of fun. And if there weren't any problems, I'd be done already and it'd have been too quick and then it's just boring. I like problem solving. That's the fun part about modding, but I don't like it to the extent where everything is a problem, which seems to be kind of what I've hit in the past few weeks with this blaster. But I fixed most of them, and I hopefully that's the last one. So I'm, I'm kind of rambling at this point, so I'm going to head upstairs. I think I'm going to have some Chinese food. I'll see you guys probably, probably again this week. I'll see if I can give you another update this week. See ya.